Thank you very much, uh, Federico, and thanks to the organizers to, for this invitation. I was really hoping uh, that I will be able to come back to Vienna, to the city where I spent a big portion of my life. Um, also research career, force majeure, as we say. So in this talk today, I'm going to talk uh, about our recent research results that we have obtained for solving an operational problem that decision makers are facing, in particular logistics companies in the context of last mile delivery. And uh, I also want to give credits to my, my co-authors. The presentation will be based ba on this paper that we have just published in the European Journal on Operations Research. This is a joint work with my colleague, Professor Alfandari from ESSEC Business School and with uh, Marcos de Melo da Silva, who was postdoc with us at the time when we worked on this problem and who is now working for the French CNRS. So to give you some pretext about the motivation for our work, let's have a closer look into the web sales and into the volume of web sales at the global level in the last five years. So what we can see is that uh, we are talking about the, the market of trillions of dollars and that in the last five years, the volume has more than doubled. In fact, uh, starting from 2010 to 2019, this has uh, grown sixfold. And then we just have within the, from the period when we have faced the pandemics, we had in a, within a single year a growth of 25%. So what does it mean? It means that uh, a lot of products are now being sold online much more than before. No wonder each one of us has noticed a change in the purchasing behavior. Another statistics that we can have a closer look at is uh, something which is called e-commerce penetration. And this is actually the relative percentage of the e-commerce sales compared to the total sales. And what you can see here is a steady growth. And again, no wonder in the last five years, this e-commerce penetration has doubled from 10% to 20%. But when you have a look at closer, closer look at uh, particular countries, like United States, then you can see some drastic changes in the purchasing behavior of customers. So what we see is indeed since 2009 to 2019, this growth was steady and stable and one could say really linear. And then within the first three months when the pandemic uh, broke out, we see that with 